Call from MJ. See you soon. Hey, how you doing? Good. Just got off the phone with Harry, and this foundation thing could be interesting. Oh, nice. Some hope on my work front, too. I dug into the tech that gang used to mess with the prison transfer. It's DARPA level stuff. Yeah. Whoever's behind them has a ton of resources. Miles thinks he saw their leader. Some kind of big game hunter, fur vest looking guy. Interesting. I'll keep digging. If I can get this story on the front page, it might help us track him down faster. Maybe save my job, too. Yo, what's good, everybody, man? It's your boy Kobe in the mix. Sheesh, today, y'all, we have episode number five, man. Already, episode number five of Spider Man 2. You know what I'm saying? Marvel Spider Man 2. We have been going crazy. We have been grinding. Again, I appreciate all the love and support you guys have been showing me. Be sure to like the video. Be sure to share and be sure to subscribe. And we're only 10 more subs away from breaking 1300, man. So I know we can do it. Chief Clark, everything okay? We we're about to demolish a hospital that was damaged during Sandman's attack, but there's a lot of debris slowing down the technicians. If you're free, they could really use your webs to help keep the building stable while they work. Absolutely. Thanks. We'll keep working until you get here. We got another one of Marco's memories discovered before we get into episode number five. Now, this is in the Chinatown district. Ooh. Let's take care of him. Guys, you're kind of getting sand everywhere. Take care of him. Been playing, we've been playing as Miles just a little too much. I wanted to switch it up and play as Pete. You guys should really leave and go somewhere more tropical. Yup. Yup. Hey, yo. He is fire. Not messing with Pete. Not messing with Pete, though. Nope. Alright, let's see what we have here. Should One of the crystals. Crystal now. Crank it. It's my turn to follow them. Figure out who they are. I end up at this abandoned school in Harlem. And I'm already beginning to regret this. Marco must have felt so alone during all this. His back against the wall. I can relate. I will take more photos later. We are almost there, though. We are right where we need to be. Episode number five. Hope you guys enjoyed, man. Let's get right into it. Wow. I was wondering what this place was. You said this was a startup. Yeah, I was hoping for something a little less this. But my dad was the one who, you know, he made all the arrangements. Peter and... Parker. <laughs> so, what do you think? It's a far cry from that chop shop that Otto had you in. <laughs> and now that you're on board, this place is really going to start cooking. Uh, Dad, Pete hasn't decided he's joining yet. Oh. Really? But I was going to give him a tour. Let him decide for himself. All right. You know... Seeing you boys together again. <laughs> I 
right then. Have fun. Get your badge out. Let's go exploring. So the first thing I want to show you is downstairs. Harry, this place... Right? Dad went a little more over the top than I would have liked. How did you... He got things set up while I was still undergoing treatment, but when I got out, I made a few changes. Like what? Diverted my salary into research projects, installed a diverse board to keep us on the right track, and made sure all research aligned with our mission. To heal the world. First, I want you to meet Dr. Young, who's a leading entomologist. You know what entomology is? Yeah. Dr. Young is doing this super cool research on bees. Or, to be more precise, on bee predators. That data does not cross-tabulate with the AI learning. Your pops got money. Ready to talk to Dr. Young? You must be Peter. So nice to meet you. I think you'll like this project. Great to meet you, Dr. Young. Harry says you're working with bees. Yes, and it's quite an urgent situation. A full third of the food you eat every day comes from crops pollinated by bees. But worldwide populations are in steep decline, primarily due to a significant predator. The carnivorous bee wolf. So, we developed an innovative way to help the bees. Wanna see how? This is cool. These little drones are essentially bee bodyguards that we're training to detect and attack bee wolves. AKA, bee killer wasps. And you're helping with the machine learning algorithm. Do you see those little holographic bee wolves? The better you are at shooting those, the better our drones get at recognizing what to target. The idea is for the drones to scare the bee wolves away, not hurt them. Let's so see if I can shoot the uh, nice. pedestrians. <laughs> the yeah. civilians. Yep. Oh yeah. Attention. Gotta protect the hive. You're done, Peter. A very productive session. We got great data. Okay, flying home. Welcome to entomology. Hopefully we can use that drone on enemies. That'd definitely come clutch. If those virtual bee wolves you just took out were real, you'd have saved the lives of about 2,500 bees. Wow. I'd love to help any way I can. I could take a look at juicing the neural network speed. Oh, yes, please. Maybe if Pete decides to join us, you two can talk some more. Thanks, Dr. Young. I've got so much more to show you, Pete. Let's go. Now, up ahead is the medical research area. We're doing cutting-edge proton beam work. Using protons instead of x-rays, with better targeting and less radiation. It's all the stuff we talked about. All the stuff we dreamed could make the world a better place. That's the idea. <laughs> Harry, a moment, if you please. Uh, any chance I can wait a sec? It'll be quick. Doc, this is my friend Peter. Peter, Dr. Connors. We've actually met. I used to work with Dr. Octavius. You came to the lab once to consult on electrotactile stimuli. Oh. Yes. It's a shame about Dr. Octavius. His work had so much promise. Any changes since this morning? Dizziness, aches, pains. Anxiety, impulsive thoughts. <laughs> nope. I've never been better. That's what worries me. Nice to see you again. Your doctor is the lizard. Dad believes in second chances. Hey, listen, I gotta go make a call. But, uh, feel free to explore. Come meet me upstairs when you're ready. There's a lot of stuff I can explore down here. So that was crazy. But it seems to be working for everyone to have Dr. Connors here. Guess I'll look around. The origins of life on Earth remain a mystery. How could organic life forms exist in the mind of the planet? 
Nice. Seems inspired by some of Otto's work without the hardwiring problems. Wonder if Dr. Connors has used this. Though after that lizard rampage, he may be done testing his work on himself. Yup, Dr. Osborne, he was the lizard. <laughs> the need for medical organ transplant is far out of No, we gonna have to face his dad, son. No, Fucking green goblin. Drones. Yeah, uh, doing a little cross collaboration between the energy lab and the agricultural lab. Ultra light drones using the new battery tech for crop monitoring. Very cool. Do they collect crop data too? They will by the time we're done with them. That's awesome. Thanks. So still some more stuff that we can check out. See what they got over here. What's this? Some kind of radiation treatment maybe? Look like an MRI machine. I if this is what they used for Harry's treatment. <laughs> yeah. Hey, whenever you're ready, come meet me up here. I'm on my way. I'll see you in a sec. This is the original prototype from Otto's lab. This would have been crime scene evidence. Wonder how it ended up here. Hold on, that person is highlighted. I want to see what this is really quick. Maybe we can talk to this person. There's so much to explore, but I shouldn't keep Harry waiting. fish not just fish research subjects want to feed them yeah Japanese koi fish have well studied pigmentation variation which is ideal for our research into enhanced reflectivity stacks of intracellular anhydrous guanine crystals separated by cytoplasm we're finding it very useful for eco-friendly roofing materials so cool Love this place. All right, let's go find Harry now. You really have a particle accelerator? We use it to send proton beams to that treatment room downstairs. It's being repaired right now, but we'll have it back up in no time. Where are we heading now? Up to the top floor. Your energy seems really good, Harry. I feel great. Make sure you talk to HR about the referral bonus. So put your way back helmet on and think back. Yeah. Even before high school. To middle school. Okay. <laughs> now, do you know the... Hang on. You're a popular guy. Sorry, it's just my tutoring job. You were saying? You know the stuff everyone studies in middle school with Gribor Mendel and the pea plants? Yeah, I think so. About genetics and plant hybridization? Exactly. So, Dr. Foster up ahead, he's won every top prize in the field for his work with plant genetics. Wow. Hey, when you were walking around, did you have a chance to feed the fish? Yes, that was so great. Interesting research project. And lowers the old cortisol levels, too. Right? I honestly think it's one of my favorite spots in the building. This way, dude. Dr. Foster. Thanks, Dr. Foster. Ah, Peter, I presume. Harry talks about you frequently. So nice to meet you. Dr. Foster is working on agricultural efficiency. 
With the population growing and the climate changing unpredictably, we need to adapt more quickly than nature normally would. Genetic recombination can customize crops to best meet these new challenges, be it extreme weather or an increase in pests. Would you like to see this test bed? Okay. The idea is to tweak a plant's genes to maximize optimal qualities. For instance, a plant that can thrive in drought conditions. In our simulation, the goal is to maximize growth. Why don't you practice on this? Okay. Match the base pairs to incorporate as many growth genes as you can. That'll be a plant that can feed the world. Interesting. Okay, I think I get the hang of it. Great. Now you're ready to try the real thing. This is a plant we're working on to grow well in drought conditions. Corporations patent GMO seeds for profit and are rightly criticized. But ours are open source, developed for sustainability instead of financial gain. So smart. Mm. No, I don't think that goes there. Uh, it's actually a little bit tricky. Let's see. I don't know how I got that right. I am not gonna lie. One step closer to feeding the world. <laughs> nice work. Listen, I know you're not officially on, but could you look at one more gene for me? Curious to get your take on it. It's a crop specifically adapted to urban gardens. Of course. Uh? Maybe I think I have to do this. Got to connect these uh, green baton looking thingies. Oh. Have no idea if I'm doing this right. Beautiful work, Peter. No, I guess I am. I have no idea how I'm doing this, guys. <laughs> Just a lucky guess. Technology, we're on track to end world hunger by 2035. Wow. I know a rooftop you could use for a real world test if you're interested. Oh, very much so. Harry was right. You'll be a real asset here. Thank you, Dr. Foster. So now where? Last stop. Might be my favorite. It's commanding, but not overbearing. Playful, but not tasteless. Impressive, but not show off. -y. Your office. Or is it in our office? Harry, now remember, the things you've seen today are just a small taste of what we're working on. But don't decide just yet, not till you've seen this last thing. Okay. Come on, where's your badge? You'll need it to get in. Uh, where did I put it? Don't tell me you lost it. <laughs> nope, false alarm. Right here. This place is huge, though. This is like I say, his pops got money for sure. Go ahead, swipe. This is a reminder that today is the last day. Of our... Wow. Man. Harry. This is all so amazing. It's perfect, really. It's just... Things are really hectic right now. When I was in treatment, 
All I could think about was, what would I do if I survived? And I kept hearing my mom's voice telling me that our planet is in trouble. And it's my responsibility to save it. Join me? God, there's so much more that we can do. I mean, we both know you're the smarter one. <laughs> Come on. Let's make my mom and Nate proud, huh? It's amazing. But there's one thing. Can I move my desk over there? I like to face the wall when I work. <laughs> he got a job! He didn't gotta pay that mortgage! <laughs> oh. One quick thing. <laughs> I'm gonna need... A little time to transition out of my tutoring job. Of course. Take whatever time you need. It's all about balance, right? Yeah. But Coney Island later, yeah? <laughs> you bet. to tell you some of our researchers have field experiments set up around the city if you have time check them out i've sent you the location and your badge will grant you access all right i'll swing by Ooh. hey sorry i didn't get back to you before but i was i just got a new job for real well that's awesome where's it at this new foundation run by my best friend it's it's incredible but i can fill you in later what's up the guys who took Lee and Scorpion? Genki and I tracked the exhaust trails from their aircraft to the Williamsburg Bridge. I'll meet you there. Hold on, don't you have an essay to finish? Yeah, but duty calls. Trust me, your duty is to your future right now. I'll keep you updated on anything I find. All right. Good luck out there. All right, cool. We got ourselves a new job, so we'll be able to pay off Peter's mortgage, man, because he's behind on his bills. But I hope you guys enjoyed. This was episode number five of Spider-Man 2. You know what I'm saying? So we got more episodes on the way. And I'm telling y'all, man, we're going to be trying to complete this game as fast as possible. I'm taking my time, but I cannot get off of this game, man. I have been up literally all night, man. But with all that being said, man, it's your boy Kobe, and I'm going to see y'all boys in the next one. Peace. Sheesh.